Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are styling some blazer vests. We're starting off super casual with a white graphic tee and high-waisted denim shorts. I'm tucking the shirt into my shorts and really making sure the shirt isn't bulging awkwardly anywhere. If you can tuck your shirt in your shorts in public, you're probably not doing it right. The vest I'm wearing is gray and we're just keeping the colors very light with the white vans to tie the outfit together. Next, I'm swapping out the denim shorts for some white jeans and throwing on a white button-up shirt. White and white sounds like a bad idea, but once you put on the gray blazer vest, using half a pen of tie to go will be well worth it. Pair this with the black slip-ons and dance away until you choke on your own saliva and try to play it off like you're okay. Don't forget to add a hat to this outfit to match your shoes. You can also add a black bag if you'd like if you don't want to wear a hat. This outfit makes me feel like I'm ready to critique some artwork. We're switching the white jeans for some ripped blue jeans. I'm wearing white heels to tie it in with the white button-up shirt for a more complete look. And how can we forget about the hat? I'm so in love with this hat and how it just completes any look with a blazer vest. You can also accessorize with some sunnies on your shirt. I'm calling this the Pinterest girl outfit. This is the type of outfit you will find when you type in blazer vest in the search bar. It's time to switch out the blazer vest for the brown one. We're going for a complete comfortable look for this one. I'm pairing the white high neckline slash sorta white turtleneck. It's almost there, but not quite a turtleneck with a white flowy skirt. And I'm tossing my brown vest over top. This look goes best with some plain white vans or just plain white shoes, whatever you have. And there you go. Time for a warmer outfit. These fleece tights are perfect for the colder months. Make sure you get the leggings one and not the full sock tights. I find the sock ones to be too tight and it gives you a massive wedgie and man, you can't even pick it. It's it's that tight. It's, it's up there. For my top, I'm wearing a white crop top under the button up shirt. If you can't tell already, the gray blazer vest is my go-to. I just find it much easier to style versus the brown one. Here I'm wearing some chunky boots because it rains a whole lot in Vancouver and these are just the perfect boots that goes with just about anything. I think chunky boots are a must for fall outfits because they're just so easy to style. Um, to complete the look, you can also add some bulky earrings or even a belt. Another option is to wear your blazer vest with some black jeans and a white long sleeve top. You can also swap out your leggings instead of the jeans and it will still look very cute. Button up the blazer or keep it open depending on how much of the top you want to show off. Match your boots with your blazer and toss on a hat to complete the look. With the black jeans, you can wear a white crop top and swap your blazer vest for a light colored one. I'm wearing my open toed sandal heels with my trusted hat to finish this look. Another option is to add a belt. I definitely feel like a fashionista whenever I'm wearing this outfit. I love monochromatic looks. This is so effortlessly cute. Here I have a flowy gray dress under the gray blazer vest. I add some white heels and if you have a white belt, this would pair so well to finish the look. Unfortunately, I don't or I actually couldn't find it, but it's still cute without the belt. Another option if you don't have a white belt, you can also wear black heels and a black belt. It still works. For a classic blazer vest look, pair it up with a long sleeve bodycon dress. I don't actually have one, but I was able to use a bodysuit and a pencil skirt to create this look. You can wear this with a strappy heel to dress it up, or swap it out for some booties for a more comfortable outfit. If you really want to dress this look down, switch out your booties for some slip-on shoes or just black sneakers. And we're back with the turtleneck and blazer vest combo here. This time, I'm wearing it with a flowy black skirt and tossing some over-the-knee black boots. This is such a cute girly outfit that's also warm and perfect for the cooler months. Don't forget to add some accessories to your outfit. It always completes the look. I'm using some hoop earrings here, but you can also add some bulky earrings. 
I keep pulling up my boots in this video because these boots are like half a size too big for me so they keep falling down. I'm so used to the Asian parent where they buy you half a size bigger so that you grow into it except I'm an adult now so I'm never gonna grow anymore. Sometimes when I wear these boots I double up my socks so it fits better. <laughs> uh, does anyone else do that or is it just me? And finally, it's time for my favorite outfit of this video. A high neckline flowy dress and gray blazer paired with the over the knee boots. If you want to be extra comfortable, style it with some chunky boots. This is a look that doesn't sacrifice comfort for fashion at all. It's one of those looks that I go to whenever I don't know what to wear out. It's easy, it's comfy, it's just, it looks good without trying. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all 11 outfits that I put together for you. So if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And also, let me know which outfit was your favorite. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, bye.